Welcome to today's part of this SBSS methodology. This time with a unit on univariate variance analysis. Variance analysis is usually done if I have a different set of subgroups and I want to know whether these subgroups actually are similar or are clearly different from each other. In other words, what I'm actually doing with variance analysis is checking that if I split up my data set according to some grouping variable, is the variance in the different subgroups reduced by splitting it up. So put it even in different words, if I split it up, do the subgroups themselves become way more homogeneous then it would be the case if I consider the whole data set at once. Okay, so far for the background on variance analysis. Let's start with an easy example. Let's consider something we did similarly for the t-test. I want to test whether the two groups, men and women, are different regarding their weight. So I go to analyze, compare means, and find here one-way ANOVA, analysis of variances. Click here, then I see I have my list of dependents, so in this case it's the weight, and my factor. Factor means here my independent variable, the variable by which I want to split up this data set. So here I go with gender, and then I just carry on clicking OK, and I get here my results for my F-test, for my F-test with the ANOVA. So what does this tell me? This tells me that the two groups are significantly different, or in other words, that if I split up my data set according to gender, I can significantly reduce the variance in the different groups. This is what the significance level actually means. The variance between the groups is significantly larger than the significance within the groups. So the, the variance within the groups is significantly reduced by splitting it up. Okay, in this case I only have two groups. However, I can turn for example to, by to my classified BMI and do the whole stuff for three different subgroups. So I could go back to compare means, one way and over, and instead of gender, I select classified BMI, or with city it's the same thing, I cl uh, classify according to city. Let's consider the city here, because the BM classified BMI is directly calculated via the weight, so this is not this nice an insight, but city might actually be an interesting insight. So we click OK. Now we see this means I cannot significantly reduce the variance if I split it up according to the three different cities. OK, but here in this case I have three different groups, so it could be that two of the groups are relatively similar and one of the groups is relatively different from the other two. And this I can also check. I could go, I can go here to compare means, one way and over. And then with options, first off I need to run homogeneity of variances test, so the same Levine test as with t-tests. And then, according to the outcome, I can select with postdoc either tests for equal variances or tests for unequal variances. So here we go with Sheffi for equal, Tamheni for unequal variances. Just in case that it turns out unequal or equal. Click OK again. So we get the same result as before. And then 
up here. That's our homogeneity of variances test. So here this tells us sig really larger than 5% is significant, meaning my variances assumingly are the same across all three groups. So I can assume same variables, uh, variances, meaning I can turn to Sheffi to the results here. And this is a point on point comparison. So it's always one base city compared to another one, one base city compared to another one, for all possible combinations. So here I get all six possible combinations and I see significances. So basically something comparable to the t-test, but here with the variance analysis, for each combination of the cities. So here, for example, Cologne-Düsseldorf, significance 0 0.987, tells me the two cities report more or less the same weight. Cologne-Wuppertal report more or less the same weight. And that's the case for all the six combinations. So the F-test up here tests whether all three considered together can be considered similar or different. This test here tests for each combination. The interesting part when we have equal variances and use Sheffi, it also reports here on homogeneous subsets. So it shows me here the different means for the three subgroups and here proposes that I summarize them in only one subset. So I should not split them up according to city. Okay, so far so good. Let's do the same thing with something which might discriminate a bit more. So let's do the same thing, even though it's not this well suited for this case, but with classified PMI. And here I see the exact opposite. All groups can be considered different. Also the downside here the variances in all three groups are different. So I can no longer use Sheffi, I have to use Terrini. But still, this tells me all groups are significantly different. Terrini doesn't actually provide us with a homogeneous subset analysis, but, well, as the results here are not so different from the results for equal variances. So we just take a short look here under the assumption that they were equal, the variances. We could make three groups and the three groups are actually pretty dissimilar from each other as we can see here as the general medium or average weight in a below average group would be 57 in the above uh, in the average group would be 67.98, so more or less 68, and in the above average group would be 85.45. So we see that three groups are really different, significantly different from each other in regarding to weight. This is shown in general here and for each combination here with the postdoc test, with the multiple comparisons. Well, this then already concludes this small session on variance analysis, on univariate variance analysis. I hope you enjoyed listening and, well, hopefully learned something from this session. And if you're interested in seeing more of this type of videos, feel free to visit the rest of the SPSS methodology. Until then, see you and goodbye.